Hello Leo and welcome to Soul Sundays. Leo, I'm going to do a quick three card spread for you, three tarot cards, one card for your romance energy for the week and one for your health message. Now, first of all, I want to give a massive shout out to all of the people on the channel that have stayed with me and supported um, me whilst I took some time off to focus on my day job. Thank you so much. I am back and I'm going to be bringing you these Soul Sunday readings every uh, Sunday just to give you an update on the energy that's coming through ahead. Unfortunately, I'm not taking any personal readings at the moment for the seeable future, just whilst I try and work out the balance of both. OK, but let's talk about you. Um, Leo, we have a really interesting full moon eclipse coming up this week in the sign of Capricorn. It is at 13 degrees Capricorn 37 on Sunday, the 5th of July at 2.44 p.m., depending on um, which state you're in. Now, obviously, what does that mean for you right basically it's going to eclipse through the area of your your chart the house that deals with routine wellness health um you know you're, you're living your lifestyle and and how you take care of your body and, and maintain yourself it's a really unique period to shake up how you feel okay to take a break from any toxic ties habits or or let's say behaviors, unsubconscious behaviors that you may have that are holding you back. You know what I'm talking about, Leo. It's really interesting because um, this energy is going to really fire you up because we have Mars moving into Aries, which is sister sign to you, pours harmonious and positive energy into um, your sign. So on one hand, you're gonna have this pull of work. And then on the other hand, it's going to be this, I need to balance out my health and my wealth. The important message here to you is remember that your well-being comes first. There's no wealth without your health, right? All right, so you ready? Let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Leo. Please show me what they need to hear and what they want to hear for the week ahead. Spirit, can I just have three cards, please? Three cards for Leo. What do they need to know this week? What are their messages? Okay, so I'm not going to lie. Yours is the taking the longest to pop out. Every other sign came out pretty quickly. So there could be some stagnant energy that you're feeling. There it is, all three together. Or it could just be um, they were trying to pick the right cards, right? <laughs> nice. Leo, this looks good. All right. One card for romance. Matters of the heart. Affairs of the heart. Please show me. Beautiful. Two sixes. Okay, this is nice energy. I'm liking this. Card for health, please. <laughs> I knew you were going to get that card. Sobriety. You knew you were going to get it too. Um, okay, so look, aligning with what I just said about the eclipse coming through and needing to really... Um, take a look at what you're doing. You've got this card of victory, okay? Six of Wands is all about personal victory. It's about fame, achieving achieving fame, and moving closer to that. I feel like for a lot of you, this is to do with work and what you're doing and achieving at the moment. Um, you know, whatever it is that you do to create uh, financial wealth and abundance. Um, it's interesting though because it's coupled with the nine of cups so the nine of cups is a wish coming true something that you've been planning for or hoping or working towards is about to come true at this full moon so for some of you that could be in relation to um, passing probation of a new job maybe going back into re-employment for some of you that are um, on the bench at the moment it could also speak about um, going off to study starting a new venture anything of those kind of um, along those kind of lines. What I love about this is it's something that you've wanted for quite some time. It's something that you've been secretly planning for, hoping for, wishing for, doing all the groundwork and hoping that it will align. And what's beautiful about that is that you've got the three of pentacles here. So this is a great card to um, give you the message that you're on the right path to finding that balance, that alignment when it comes to your finances, right? It also speaks about working in harmony and partnership with someone. So for some of you, that could be the organization you work for, your boss and yourself. It could be the business you own, um, the study you're about to undertake and yourself. It could be spirit, um, your religious beliefs and your partner. 
whatever it is, however it looks for you, it's in harmony, okay? And that's beautiful. Don't slow down this week, but do take time to remember that at the moment you need to start developing those routines. What does your morning routine look like? Do you have a morning routine? How's your meditation going? Are you looking after your physical body? Are you drinking just a little bit too much? Now, in terms of health, I'll come back to love and romance in a second. Sobriety is a big one that can relate to any kind of form of addiction, okay? Um, this came up in another sign. I'm trying to remember who it was, but it could also be talking to, um, you know, an addiction to uh, shopping. It could be talking to an addiction to porn. It could be talking about an addiction to, um, you know, chocolate chip ice cream. I don't know whatever it is, right? But it's asking you to abstain from anything that's in excess, particularly though the message is here about um, illicit substances and alcohol. If you know that you've been indulging in that lately, then this is the week to kind of pull back a little bit on your body, get some whole foods in there, get some vegetables and increase that because you're going to need it. You're, you're transitioning into a phase that's going to require a lot of energy from you. These are high vibrational cards, okay? These are the cards that can tie you out very quickly. But this is exactly where you like to be, Leo, on top of the horse with your ticket tech parade going, you're amazing. Look at that man of hair. You're incredible. That's that's Leo energy. OK, fiery, but um, not without merit. Like you've deserved this. It's lining up for you because you've put in the work and effort and now it's all aligning. What's interesting is that in your love section, you have the six of swords and this speaks about healing. Healing begins. So it's almost like when you start to take care of your physical body, that's when you start to vibe higher and you can actually heal the parts of you that you've maybe pushed to the side and haven't dealt with when it comes to your emotions and romance. Now, I'm going to read this passage for you out of the book. OK, the key words are release, heal, assistance and hope. And it says, the energies around you now are guiding you towards a better place concerning dealings of the heart. These energies bring new information, new ideas and new people to you. They will assist you in evaluating your current situation and help you improve it. Even good situations can be made better. What are your hopes and dreams around relationships? Be confident that you're being moved in their direction now. Beautiful energy, right? And it goes on to say, this is a time of healing, a time to let go of past issues and move steadily forward. Better times are just around the corner. The letting go may include difficult relationships, the need to control, the fear of being alone or anything else that's causing you stress and unhappiness. By releasing them, you free yourself to embrace the supportive energy around you and now allow it to carry you onward and then let the healing begin. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You have the control over everything this week. Leo, okay? The only challenge here for you is around your own habits, your subconscious habits and what you're putting out there. That's the only thing I can see hindering it. Otherwise, it looks like a brilliant week. I hope you found this reading helpful. I wish you much love and light. Take care.